with the study of fine art then and the creation of art then then figure drawing is an important first step uh, for any students that want to move into uh, portrait art portraitures abstracts all different types of, of drawing requires some study of uh, figure drawing. Now, figure drawing in Himalayan art is, is fairly standardized, although there will be differences across the broad um, Himalayan, Tibetan uh, regions and into northern China, Mongolia. There will be variations, but there is a kind of standard approach to teaching drawing. Because when we talk about figure drawing, we're talking really about teacher-student and, and what is the procedure, what is the, the, the uh, curriculum. So for many places in the Tibetan regions, Tibetan cultural regions, then we have a very clear method of teaching, initially teaching drawing. And that begins with um, observing how to uh, create a canvas, how to uh, even how to sometimes mix uh, simple uh, pigments. Uh, there's a lot of, of uh, preliminary work that an artist might undertake as um, as a young person, a young boy or girl, or a teenage boy or girl before they're actually they actually begin their training of drawing. So. What is important here now is, is what are the subjects of what they're drawing. There is a system of teaching iconometric lines. It's a grid pattern of vertical and horizontal lines with certain measurements. And these measurements are not all invented in the Himalayan regions in Tibet, but also come from India, where a uh, 1,000, 1,000 plus years ago, they had a very clear idea that uh, some figurative forms are more attractive and some are less attractive. And so they came up with a system of uh, ensuring that the main uh, physical uh, bodily proportions are, are in an, a pleasing aesthetic um, uh, shape and uh, size. And so this is called um, uh, iconometry and uh, the lines are basically a grid pattern of, of different sizes of grids, depending on whether or not it's a face, a torso, or the legs that is being uh, uh, drawn and being measured. So that's iconometry. Now, what are the main subjects? Well, there's actually three subjects. There's uh, Buddha, there's a female peaceful figure, and then there's a male wrathful figure. The, this is the progression. So the first figure you learn to draw is the Buddha. And yes, for the most part, it is Shakyamuni Buddha. And it is Shakyamuni Buddha in a seated posture in Vajra Asana and uh, with the right hand uh, um, extended over the, over the knee and touching the ground. Uh, so the important thing here is to, is to understand uh, the face. Uh, the head, the shoulders, and then the length of the arms, and then how the knees are placed in the Vajra posture. Then the clothing, the drawing of the clothing. So the second figure is, is Tara in her peaceful form, and this is really uh, much the same as green Tara, with again her right hand extended over her knee, uh, left hand held at the heart, her right leg extended, her left leg drawn up. Uh, there are differences. There are differences in the torso, there are differences in the face, there are differences in the, in the thickness of the arms. Um, there are differences between the male form and the female form. So the Buddha is representing a basic male form. Tara is representing a basic peaceful female form. Now, the third subject here is uh, a wrathful deity, a wrathful appearing figure, and that is Vajrapani or Krota Vajrapani. Vajrapani in his wrathful appearance. And here he has a uh, 
a very broad face. He has three eyes. He has hair that is flaming upwards like fire. Um, he has a, a different type of ornamentation than Tara. Tara has peaceful ornaments and garments. And uh, Vajrapani has wrathful ornaments and garments, such as a uh, uh, five skull headdress. Not always. Sometimes he'll have uh, uh, a slightly different or more peaceful, but made out of bone ornaments. Uh, then a tiger skin skirt, um, a, the, the bracelets, armlets, necklace could be a snake. So these are the three main forms. So from the, the Buddha, you can draw male. From uh, the female, you can do all peaceful female. Uh, with the wrathful, you can do female wrathful, male wrathful, and then you start uh, being able to do multi-headed uh, wrathful deities. Uh, with Tara, you can do multi-headed peaceful deities. And yes, there are minor differences between the male and female, but uh, but they're easy to, to remember and understand. So in figure drawing for Himalayan art, the three traditional subjects are, are Buddha, uh, peaceful female and then wrathful male and uh, the the subjects chosen are, are Shakyamuni Buddha, Aryatara and Krodha Vajrapani. So don't forget press the like button. You can also subscribe. You can also send in questions or comments and you can also join Har on Patreon and help us support the work we do.